Hi, I'm Robert. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube video. I'm a very handy person. I've been fixing things as far back as I can remember since I was nine years old. I've fixed stuff like sheetrock walls, small appliances, computers, and the list goes on and on. I even have some formal training in carpentry and computer repair. So I hope you find this information useful. A couple days ago, my wife heard a big crash, came in here. Half of the uh, clothes rack was had fallen down in the bracket that supported the upper shelf up here had pulled against away from the wall so uh, it's time to fix that it's supposed to resemble this thing over here where the clothes are over there and stuff is piled up you know like closets are well when I grabbed the thing up there it had these little pitiful screws going into the wall so I don't really think that was holding anything up real good. So, But the screws are bent. So what I'm going to do is go back in there with more of a molly bolt type of thing. So in my little tool chest I have these little anchor bolt things. That what you do is you drill a hole in a wall just about as deep as this. Hopefully in a stud. And you kind of tap that in the wall with a hammer and this is what it looks like that slides in the wall and then you drive a screw in it and when you screw that screw in it pulls the tip of this towards you and causes these side things to expand and jams those in the wall so you take a quarter inch drill bit and line that up where you need it and drill that hole uh, deep enough for that to fit. So what some people do is they measure up the depth of it and they put a piece of tape on it. But on mine, it'll go down to the start of that shank. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes and then screw that bracket against the wall so that it's secure. Alright, so I got the drill bit in the drill, locked it in, hand chuck tight. Now I'm gonna go up there and make sure that top hole is big enough for that thing to sink in. That drill bit just pretty much fell in that first hole up here. Oh so I'm gonna go ahead and press that in and I guess I'm gonna tap it in with a hammer because it, oh there it goes. It pressed in. I'm going to make sure that this lines up with it so when I put a screw in it then I'm going to drill this second hole over here make sure it's the right height. That actually looks a little high so I don't know what I'm going to do with that but let me work on the second hole there. Okay I got both of those anchors in the wall. Now I'm going to swing the bracket up over there and get both of the screws started in there before I tighten either one of them down. Okay, I got both screws snug in there. Now I'm going to tighten them as tight as I can because that's uh, what will expand those brackets in the, in the wall. I guess I could have put one of those on the bottom too, but I didn't, so I'm not going to worry about it. So now I'm going to set the shelf back in the corner like it's supposed to be, and I'm going to put a couple of screws in the bottom of the uh, bracket. To hold the shelf in place. Okay I put a couple of screws in the bottom of it. I didn't put them tight because I think my screws were long enough that it might have stuck through the top. Hee <laughs> hee. And uh, my pole is telescoping. So I think maybe my pole uh, came in a little bit for some reason which made it fall out of the bracket down there on the end which caused this all to tumble down. So, I'm going to tape up the joint right there uh, with it expanded as far as it can, and I should be good to go. Okay, I took some general purpose cleaner and cleaned the uh, pole off where the joint is, where it slides in and out. Now I'm going to just wrap it a couple times with some packing tape to hopefully prevent it from telescoping in on me again. Okay, I got the tape on it. Now I'm going to get a, uh, my shop vac out and vacuum up this dust and crumbs that I 
had come out of the drill holes and I'm done. If you got any questions, go ahead and post. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope you found the information useful and it helped you solve whatever problem you're working on. If you did, please like it, share it with your social media friends, and please subscribe to my channel so that you get notification of future videos that I make. You can go to my website, robertspinner.com. You can also leave comments here and questions and I'll answer them as soon as I can.